Thursday night, the best night of the week for NBA basketball. Hi there, everybody, and thanks for being with us on 2K Sports with Hall of Famer Grant Hill and Brent Berry. This is Brian Anderson. We'll be hearing from Allie LaForce from the sideline. Let's check in on the Western Conference standings as the race to the playoffs continues. Taking a look at Los Angeles, with the playoffs fast approaching, they are well positioned at second place in the conference. And of course, the Thunder, not posing much of a threat right now. I think for Los Angeles, their fans were expecting a lot from this team this year, and they haven't disappointed them. It's been a terrific season, and they're far from done yet heading into the playoffs. Well, this one's about to get going, but first, let's check in with Ali LaForce. Thanks, Brian. The Clippers' new arena in Inglewood is opening soon, and NBA legend Jerry West said the new home will, quote, allow a fairer schedule that's not as taxing on the players, but most importantly, it's for the fans. Brian, he says it'll be amazing. Yeah, I can't wait to experience it firsthand, Allie. Thank you. And we're in the home stretch of the season. For teams looking for a ring grant, what's important right now? Well, at this point of the year, for those teams that seriously have a chance to win it all, it's all about health. you got to get everyone across the finish line healthy and fresh and, of course, injury-free. And after that, it's all about the little things. All right, let's check out the starting group for go. the Thunder. Dort and Baisley are the forwards. And at the one and the two, it's Gideon Gilgis-Alexander. And it's Holmgren in at the center position. And for the Clippers... Leonard and Batum, the duo at forward. John Wall is out there with Paul George. And it's Zubats in at the center position. Now here's Leonard. Pass to Zubats. There's the drive. And it's slammed in by Zubats. I like to see Leonard's ability to dish the ball off the screen and roll. It's becoming a huge advantage for this team. George against Gilgis Alexander. And the lamp is good off the glass. And setting the tempo with an assertive move. Like, where was the defense on that play? Yeah, APB sent out to try to find out where the defense is. Inexcusable. Fantastic replay we just saw of the mobile one drive. Yeah, and in close games like this one, B.A., you need toughness. Guys who will run to the fight and get after it. Ball no good. Gilgis Alexander against Wall. Outside Gilgis Alexander. There's the triple. It's rebounded by Zubats. Batum against Dort. Back to Batum. Pass to Leonard. Misses the three. And he almost made them regret defending him so loosely. Here's Baisley. Just over a minute and a half played here in this one. Let's it go from deep. Leonard pulls down the board. The Clippers have gone one for three so far. And because of the length and athleticism, Baisley can do a lot out there. He has that switchability on defense. He hits the glass so well, and I like where his offensive game is headed. Now here's Dort. A dependable player on offense, giving them over 13 a game. Here's Giddy. It's good. Josh. That's impressive stuff from Giddy just getting on the interior part of the defense. They had a luxury for this coaching staff. Grant Baisley is happy playing a primary or secondary role. And that's not always the case. You know, VA sometimes oh, ego can get in the way. But Baisley's just doing what he can to help the team achieve its goals. For Oklahoma City, they've gone just two for four from the floor. Outside, Gilgis Alexander. Kitty with a screen on George. Pass to Baisley. Back to Gilgis Alexander. Shot clock at five. Kitty with a screen on George. That one's wide left. Well, he's a guy they count on to produce from the mid-range. He doesn't miss too many open looks from there. Now here's Zubats. George outside. Zubats with a screen on Gilgis Alexander. Leonard with the ball. Now Gilgis Alexander defending. Kawhi rising up and bringing that one down. Oklahoma City's gone 0 for 2 from outside. 
Giddy against Wall. Pass to Holmgren. And here's Gilgis Alexander. Oh, he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. And I think Shea Gilgis Alexander's just another one in that long line of Kentucky Wildcats coming into the NBA that has carved out a pretty nice career so far in the league. one falls. It has been fantastic watching Gilgis Alexander continue to improve. And I love B.A. also along with his improvement what we've seen in terms of his leadership and responsibility to this team. He shows a very strong work ethic and this is why a lot of people are still excited about his growth and progress. Both free throws good from Gilgis Alexander. Well, when he gets into a groove at the free throw line, it doesn't just last for tonight. This might be two weeks, two months, something like that. Zubox with a screen on Giddy. Giddy against Wall. Over Giddy. And he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. That one on Giddy. What an effort from Wall on the play. Refusing to let the foul stop him from taking the shot. Well, we're starting to see the pieces fall into place in OKC. Their number two overall pick, Chet Holmgren, showing tremendous promise. And the chemistry he's developing with Josh Giddy and SGA makes them very, very intriguing. And he can't get the first one. Yeah, back in the day when I was playing, the Clippers were always an easy win. Now, L.A. is consistently a playoff team. Boy, oh boy, how times have changed. He hits the second from the line. And your last year in the league, the 12-13 season, you played for the Clippers. Yes, I did. And a great team at that. Blake Griffin, CP3, all in their primes. We won the division for the first time in Clippers history. Team record 56 wins. That year was big in the turnaround for L.A. The Clippers have gone three of six from the floor. Leonard for three. Knocks down the long J. Leonard's got five. He has the touch to do some damage from three-point distance. Pass to Holmgren. Here's Gilgis Alexander. Looking at his stats, he's getting just over 23 points a game. Shoots over George. The Thunder with another miss. He's not very hard to defend right now. This is when the defense might step back and let him try to find his range. The shot's good. And their offense looking like a well-oiled machine. Oklahoma City trailing. They need something good to happen here. Yeah, they've gone way too long without a score. Watching SGA run this offense, he's so patient, and he reads the defense exceptionally well. Yeah, Gilgis Alexander really plays at his pace, Grant. You know, B.A., he's one of those guys the defense just can't speed up. And every move is purposeful. No wasted motion. He methodically breaks you down. That free throw good from Gilgis Alexander. Such a long and versatile guard that possesses a very intriguing and exciting skill set. Gilgis Alexander, lots of room to grow. Both free throws good from Gilgis Alexander. The Thunder have really struggled the last couple of years. Yeah, remember back when they had Durant, Harden, and Westbrook? Oh, quite a lineup. Not that they need three superstars again, but they need some sort of boost. Great timing there. Paul George rising up, collecting the ball, and throwing it down. Gilgis Alexander against George. Again, no good by Oklahoma City. Uh, if he's going to keep shooting, they've got to run some plays for him. Screens, pick and rolls, anything they can do to get him started. Wall. 
and he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. Well, still a few years out, but the Clippers have to be excited about moving into their own arena in 2024. So much innovation has gone into the design of the building, and it just looks incredible. Shooting two. That free throw, no good. Amen. And the Clippers felt they needed to build their own arena to establish some identity. Yeah, no, no doubt about it, that they could be their own franchise away from the shared building with the Lakers. And for so long in L.A., they've been treated as sort of the second-rate team, and that just shouldn't happen. So having their own arena, that's moving them well into the right direction. Good on the second one. And after a series of major injuries, Wall still remains one of the more athletic players in this league. Pass to Pokashevsky. It's Dort on the wing. Back to man. Here's Holmgren, guarded by Morris. And it's Holmgren missing. And it's the Clippers ball. They're on a 13-4 run. Morris, a screen on Williams. Powell for three. The shot off that time. So the Thunder will take it the other way. They couldn't put the pieces together last time out. Losing to the Clippers. In today's NBA, you have to stretch the floor. Or you're going to struggle big time. Yeah, the best way to make it hard on teams is continue your motion. And their motion on the perimeter just wasn't good enough. That ended up costing them. Covington's checked in for Los Angeles. Kennard comes in for Wall. And also a switch here for Oklahoma City. Wiggins is checked in. Picked by Covington. Here's Jackson from the arc. It's hauled in by Pukashevsky. So far, rebounding has been a focal point for them. Powell against Wiggins. Williams on the wing. He had a 12-point outing in their last game against the Clippers. Four on the clock. The baseline, Jay. Here's Holmgren, and he battles for the ball, Jeff gets the Holmgren. second chance bucket. And this is what coach wants to see from Holmgren. How will work in the defense to get a second chance look. Jackson outside. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line and grant a career resurgence for Reggie Jackson. Yeah, B.A., after dealing with injuries, even at one point considering walking away from the game, he's found renewed success, and he's shown he's got plenty left in the tank. Shooting two. The first free throw is good. It's been interesting as Reggie has finally seemingly found a home or at least confidence in the way he plays. He's a guy who can carry you on offense and he will score in bursts. And those will be very loud points. That one falls, so he hits both of them. The last couple of seasons, the Clippers have shot the lights out from deep breath. Oh, man, they've been unbelievable. Over 41% back in that 21 season. That led the NBA. So they got a nice collection of shooters on this Clippers team, and it helps when you have Paul George and Kawhi Leonard play to create great shooting opportunities. So Jeff lots of guys Holmgren. that can hurt you from deep. And this is where Holmgren is such a scoring threat. His size can make interior shots easier to find. Morris for three. Ooh, almost had a four-point play right there. But he'll go to the line with a chance for three. <laughs> nice work attracting the foul from deep. He'll shoot three. And a chance for a moment to check out the scoring breakdown for the Clippers. They've done a great job establishing an inside presence. Now that'll open up more options offensively throughout the remainder of the game. So much good energy and flow tonight, and that has really come out of great ball movement. Guys have been open, and as soon as they are, they get the ball. And he's good on the first of three.
And the second free throw is good. They're really not doing themselves any favors picking up this many fouls so early. And he nails the third. Here's Mann. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game from him. Pass to Pokashevsky. Here's Holmgren. Here's Mann. Right now contributing around 10 and a half points a game. Well, he finds some space in that in-between gap there. Too bad to get release that one on target. Jackson outside. It's Covington on the wing. And the Clippers miss again. Oklahoma City has gone 0 for 2 from outside. Two minutes remaining in the first. Wiggins outside. And there's a whistle that goes on Robert Covington. That's his first foul. Now a timeout called by Oklahoma City. I know this much about Robert Covington. You'll never find him short on effort. This is a high-energy guy on both ends of the floor. Coming on to the court is your man defended by Jackson and that one's good man he just takes advantage of the D in a way that very few players playing today can do Covington a screen on Wiggins Powell against Wiggins pass to Covington just five on the clock Here's Kennard. From deep. Back to Covington. Covington, a screen on Williams. Here's Kennard. The rebound by Mann. Grab that one. However, so far they're getting a little out hustled on the boards. To the middle. Ooh, Morris with a steal. Jackson outside. The kick out to Morris. Back to Jackson. From deep three-point range. No good there. 
And it's Oklahoma City the other way. The last time they came together was in Los Angeles, where they fell to the Clippers. And last time against this squad, they struggled to make free throws. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by Holmgren. There's 25 seconds left to play in the first. Jackson with it. He chipped in with 13 points in his last game. Four on the clock. The three ball. Doesn't go that time. And so it's the Los Angeles Clippers with a six-point lead at the close of the quarter. And it's all due to their ability to own the paint. They've been dominant down low. All right, stick around. We'll be right back after this. so far halfway through the first half in this one and before we move on what do you think about what we've seen from the Clippers attacking relentlessly drawing fouls they won that first quarter at the strike yeah they were going right at the opponent here and forcing their hand I mean like literally making them foul them and pick and rolls never more prevalent in the league than they are right now and there's always someone the defense has to leave open in those scenarios Grant yeah, B.A., you know, it's, it's amazing. It's such a simple play, but it's so difficult to defend, especially with the shooting that we now see in the NBA and the great spacing on the floor. It's a play, as you said, every team uses and executes well in their offensive attack. Taking a look at the Thunder on the wings. It's the Canadian pair, Gilgis Alexander and Dort. Alexei Pokashevsky is out there with Darius Baisley, and it's Giddy in at the one spot. Pass to Leonard. Back to Zubats. Tipped away. Wall against Giddy to the paint. The shot by Dort, no good. He's as surprised as we are. Most nights, that bucket is automatic. And let's send it over to Ali LaForce. Thank you, Brian. Well, Paul George has certainly endured his share of criticism in the past, but he said, quote, I can't worry about that. It comes with the job. I am who I am. They can judge me on what they want. I'm going to go out there and hoop and give him everything I've got. And guys, he brings a lot to the table. No question. He is elite, Allie. Thank you. Here's Gilgis Alexander. After the Clippers picking up a basket just a moment ago. Tomb with it. Now Gilgis Alexander defending. Batum past the wall. Back to Batum. George outside. Here's the three. Dort grabs the miss. Oklahoma City trailing. Outside Gilgis Alexander. Here's the three. It's hauled in by the Clippers. I mean, he's trying to shoot his way out of what's becoming a prolonged cold streak. Yeah, he's got to move on, forget about this sequence here, and, and try to find a way to get on the board. The Thunder shooting a low 31%. Their offense is lacking. Giddy against Zubats. Pass to Baisley. Wall against Gilgis Alexander. Five on the clock. Giddy with a screen on Wall. Let's it fly. Misses off the right iron. Hate to say it, but if they're still trailing at the final buzzer, a lot of this is going to be felt by him. His shooting tonight has just been atrocious. Now here's Leonard. They lead by eight. Biggest lead of the game. And yep, it's good. So go ahead and try to stop Kawhi Leonard. He'll just move the ball to the open man. They're searching for a way to score. Yeah, buckets have been very tough to come by. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. It's going to go on Paul George. 
And for Paul George, playing close to home on a title contending team, it's a tremendous opportunity, Grant. And back with the Pacers, he twice made the Eastern Conference Finals, but without a doubt, this is the most talented team he's ever been a part of. And he drops a first. Free throws good from Gilgis Alexander. And here in the second quarter, about three minutes played. Pass to Zubats. Zubats with a screen on Dort. Leonard finds Zubats. Yes! And it's Leonard with the assist that time. Leonard's got three assists tonight. They just look so overwhelmed inside. And that's why they continue to get attacked. Now here's Gilgis Alexander. Coming off a 16-point game against the Clippers. Step back on that one and let it fly. Gilgis Alexander's got 10 points. I'd like to see Gilgis Alexander continue to get more and more consistent from there. And so here are the Clippers. Following the bucket by the Thunder. Zubac, screen. It's tipped! And here's Giddy. Outside, Gilgis Alexander. Pass to Dort. Oh, got a piece of it. Shot clock at six. Giddy against Wall. Now here's Zubats. Back to Wall. Leonard outside. For three, good efficiency. He's drained four out of five. That's been typical of their performance today. They're sharing the ball and creating good shots. Outside Giddy. Dort up top. Outside Gilgis Alexander. And they waste no time getting those three points back. Gilgis Alexander's got seven points here in the quarter. Time called here. Los Angeles decides to talk it over. And Dort just keeps getting better. This is a guy who comes at you with some tenacity. Covington's checked in. A screen on Dort. Here's Leonard. They get the rebound. Batum. Got a piece of it. 
And Poku really outsmarting the opposition that time defensively in the right spot. Dort, the pass to Gilgis Alexander. Dort against Leonard. Covington, a screen on Dort. Leonard on the take. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. And Kawhi Leonard, one of three perimeter players to win back-to-back -back Defensive Player of the Year awards. It's him, Sidney Moncrief, and a young Dennis Rodman. At the line for two. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First one falls for him. And for his career, Kawhi Leonard has more steals than fouls, Grant. You know, B.A., he and Jimmy Butler, I believe, the only two players to achieve that after a decade in the league. A pretty remarkable achievement. And Leonard drops them both. Well, we've seen teams go all in to acquire Kawhi Leonard. Easy to see why. He just changes the course of a franchise. Any team he's on legitimately has a chance to win a title. Now here's Williams. Boy, no scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. Offensive rebound. And that one's good. Holmgren. That's a testament to the effort there on the boards. Never willing to give up on the possession. Finding ways to sniff out the ball. Here's Jackson. Right now contributing around 10 and a half points a game. Leonard outside. 4-3. That basket is good. Off the assist from Jackson. Leonard's got 10 points in the quarter. And that's his second in this quarter, guys. He's made three so far this game and is showing no signs of slowing down. Here's Holmgren, guarded by Morris. Pass to Holmgren. And here is Williams. Clock at four. Shoots over Jackson. Now pulls it in. The Clippers have gone five of ten in the second quarter. Leonard outside. Covington, a screen on Dort. Leonard for three. Nails it. He's now six for eight from the floor. This defense is getting spaced out. Three of the last five buckets have come from way beyond the arc. Pass to Holmgren. Back to Williams. After missing his first attempt, now one for two. And great awareness. Holmgren's so good at reading the movement of his teammates, a very heady passer for a big man. Leonard against Dort. Leonard right side. Over Dort. Again, the miss by Leonard. The Thunder have got four of their first nine shots to go here in the second. Outside, Williams. Dort for three. Rebound by the Clippers. They'll be playing host to New Orleans for their next one. And that's the third game out of four at home for them. Leonard passes to Jackson. Over Williams. Jackson can't get it to go. Oklahoma City's gone one for three from downtown here in the second. He's looking good. Two buckets in three attempts. And once more this half, they find a way to get great position inside. Two minutes remain in the first half. Williams against Jackson. A minute 53 left in the first half. Covington, a screen on Williams. Here's Jackson. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. Reggie Jackson showing his physicality from the point guard position. At the line for your Clippers. Reggie Jackson at the strike. Taking two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he knocks down the first one. Zero wasted trips. They're doing their job at the line. Kennard, he's checked in for Leonard. And also a switch here for Oklahoma City. Wiggins is checked in. Oh, 
And so Jackson nails both of them. For Oklahoma City, they've gotten five of their first 11 shots to fall here in the second quarter. Pass to Wiggins. Here's Williams. Back to Wiggins on the wing man. Inside. Here's Holmgren. The shot misses. So the Clippers will take it the other way. Powell outside. Covington, a screen on Wiggins. Here's Powell. And it's Holmgren with a rebound. Holmgren's got his fifth rebound in this one. Boy, they need something to go to regain some confidence. No question. Way too many empty possessions for them. It's Wiggins on the wing. Had a chance there to cut it to single digits, but it's off target. And their free throws have dropped off in this quarter. They're settling for too many jump shots right now. Pass to Powell. Tipped. Wiggins with a steal. Picked up by Baisley to the paint. And he caught that pass in full stride on his way to the big slam. And Baisley has a chance here to show off why he is in this position. He's an athlete. Picked by Covington. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. First personal foul. Third team foul. At the line for your Clippers. Reggie Jackson at the strike. Two shots. Shooting two. He misses the free throw. And the Thunder making a change here. Pokashevsky's checked in. No good on the second free throw. And for him, that is an ugly trip to the line. Rarely do you see him do that. Just two seconds between the shot clock and the game clock. Here's Mann, defended by Jackson. Pass to Holmgren. Six on the shot clock. Over Morris. And it's Holmgren missing. We've reached halftime in this one. Clippers ahead, leading by 10. Well, now a minute to check in with Allie LaForce. She's courtside. Hey, Allie. I'm joined by Clippers head coach Ty Lue. And coach, when Kawhi Leonard comes out like he has tonight, what's the overall impact? It impacts our team. I think, you know, everything opens up. You know, guys are less on edge. And uh, when he starts like this, he gives us a great momentum going into the game. So um, we like what he's doing right now. Now we got to build on it. When you have a player like that, you follow his lead. Thanks, Coach. Thanks very much, Alex. And folks, we'll be right back to start the second half of this game. Thanks for joining us for this fun-filled burst of basketball bliss. We kick off tonight's show with the power rankings across the league. 
taking a look at the Clippers. They've won four straight since we last ran this segment. They might be the hottest team in the league right now. You can see the confidence in their body language. There's an air about them right now. They don't feel they can be beaten. Well, uh, I missed the body language class when I was at LSU, Ernie. And circling back to this first half, fellas, a decisive advantage for the Los Angeles Clippers. They've been disciplined offensively, taking care of the ball and working for good looks. And that's limited fast break opportunities for their opponent. Disciplined, like Kenny at a steakhouse. <laughs> Indeed, baby, no steak right now. Thanks for tuning in. Now we head back to Brian Anderson for the start of the third quarter. And we played through the first half. Plenty of basketball left in this one. It's been one outstanding game from Kawhi Leonard. I'll tell you what, he's still working on his playmaking skills, but he's been tremendous so far in finding the open man. Well, if we were grading playmaking today, it's an A-plus from him. The two-way threats of George and Leonard are the wing pair. It's Batum at the power forward with Zubats at center, and it's Wall in at the one. That's who's out there for the Clippers. From deep, Giddy. And it's the Clippers with the rebound. They've led by as many as 14. Batum finds Leonard. Here's Wall. Shoots over Holmgren. Wall no good. Wall's gone one of five from the field. Pass to Baisley. And with that one, the deficit trimmed to single digits. Baisley's got his second basket. And, and Giddy with a little giddy up on that pass. An unusual skill set for his size. Holmgren can initiate offense from every level on the floor. I mean, his versatility is unbelievable. Here in this third quarter, just over a minute play. Giddy with a screen on George. You expect seven-footers to operate off ball. But Holmgren is just as good with the ball in his hands, Grant. Yes, he is, B.A. I mean, we've seen him go coast to coast in the open floor, take his defender off the dribble and get to the rim. And if you sag off him, well, he can just rise up and fire. Here's Baisley. Checking his stats, he's scoring around nine and a half points per game. Just five to shoot. Gilgis Alexander from outside. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. That'll belong to John Wall. First team. Out of bounds, it'll go to the Thunder. Oklahoma City Ball. For Oklahoma City, they've gone just one of three in the second half. Here's Holmgren. Six points for him. Pass to Dort. Now Giddy. Clock at six. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. It's going to be on even to Zubats. Yeah, the defense getting up close. I feel like Giddy was just setting the guy up. And it did Josh not take Giddy. long for Josh Giddy to find a place two. in this league as a taller point guard with incredible vision. This guy does a little bit of everything on the floor. Shooting two. That free throw good from Giddy. As for Giddy's quick start of the NBA, he recorded his first triple double. At age 19, Brent. Yeah, pretty remarkable, B.A. The youngest player ever to get a triple-double in this league. And this is the kind of guy who just makes passes that other players don't even see or even think about. So his instincts, they're off the chart. He's perfect from the line this time. Well, Giddy sees things before they happen. And so one of the things that he probably wrestles with is trying to do too much and overthink for his teammates. But there's no doubt his IQ is on display when he's on the floor. A nice shot by Zubat. Soft interior D, and they've exploited it. And the Thunder in possession here. It's a 10-point game. 
from nine feet. And that one's good. Gilgis Alexander. Gilgis Alexander's got 15. These are the type of games for Gilgis Alexander where the promise of his future looks incredibly bright. Knocks it loose. Down low. Zubats again gets it to go. He can't miss. Five for five. Something sapped them of their energy defensively since halftime in the first half. Out there scrambling, running, hustling. Since then, not so much. And the Thunder call time here. Gilgis Alexander against George. And there's the foul. It's on Ivica Zubac. That's his third foul so far. They're having a hard time with fouls. It's still early, but one more and they'll be over the limit. Door outside. Pass to Gilgis Alexander. Down to five on the shot clock. Goes up at the elbow. Give him that one. Now shooting five for 11 from the floor. Gilgis Alexander, a unique frame at his size and an intriguing score. Leonard against Dort. Leonard, good. Leonard's got four points now in the quarter. Yeah, they've only missed one out of their first five shots here in the second half, guys. Their offense really moving well, ball snapping, and the shooting looks to be in great rhythm. Pass to Holmgren. Back to Kitty. Let's go with a three. It's rebounded by Zubats. Zubats has got rebound number five here tonight. To the inside. And the dunk by Leonard. And if you give Batum some time to survey the floor, you'll find an open teammate. Outside, Gilgis Alexander. And he's 6 for 12 after that one. When the player gets a feel for that floater, he can really make things tough on defenders. You're just not sure how to guard him and where your point of commitment is. Now here's George. You know, his impact on offense has been terrific. Scoring just around 20 points a game. Leonard passes to Wall. Zubats with a screen on Giddy. Here's Wall. Gilgis Alexander with a rebound. Kind of rare to see any player have this much of a struggle from the field. To still have the lead shows how resilient they are as a complete team. Gilgis Alexander with a ball. George defending. Nice move. And Gilgis Alexander missing. 
The Clippers have gotten five of seven attempts in the third quarter. Zubats with a screen on Gilgis Alexander. George's shot is off. Oklahoma City has gotten nothing to fall from outside in this third quarter. Outside, Gilgis Alexander. Second shot opportunity. Batum against Dort. Oklahoma City's got to hurry. They got to get up a shot. Ooh, another miss by Gilgis Alexander. Well, Los Angeles shooting 44%. A pretty decent clip. All right, let's get a report from Ali. Well, guys, with the yearly roster moves, it might be hard for the casual fan to keep track. But Commissioner Silver said it's a necessary side effect. He said, quote, we tried to tie performance to pay in a closer way, and I think that's what you see with shorter contracts. Brian, more player movement has been the result. Yeah, good point, Ali. Thanks. At the line for two. Free throw drops for Leonard. And a new group getting ready for the Clippers. Morris, he's checked in for Zubats. Kennard comes in for Batum. Powell, he's checked in for Paul George. And it's Jackson in for Wall. A big group substitution here for Oklahoma City. Pokashevsky's checked in for Baisley. Williams comes in for Dort. Wiggins, he's checked in for Gilgis Alexander. And it's Mann in for Giddy. And Leonard drops them both. For Oklahoma City, they've gotten only four of ten shots to fall so far in the third. Pass to Holmgren. Here's Pokashevsky. Looking for his first basket still in this one. Here's Holmgren, guarded by Morris. Back to Williams. The three. The Clippers grab the miss. Morris has got four rebounds now. Powell passes to Jackson. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. It's a clever play by Reggie Jackson, just knowing when to maneuver himself into the D to draw the foul. And a chance to catch up on some numbers here. The scoring breakdown for the Clippers. The fearlessness they've shown going strong inside has been impressive. The defense hasn't been very effective against them. Well, if we add another thing to it, it's about the urgency they've played with. I mean, you look at the eyes of these guys. They're focused, wanting to get up tempo, and that's helped them score on the fast break. Covington's checked in for Los Angeles. It's also good, so he hits both free throws. And really strong at the line since the break. And the Thunder shooting just 38% for this game so far. Pass to Wiggins. Here's Mann. And again, Oklahoma City, no good. Yeah, you know, he usually makes you pay from that range. Now here's Covington. Three-pointer off the mark. Things just don't seem to be clicking for them offensively. Yeah, they really need to find a way to get back on track. Here's Mann, defended by Jackson. Here's Mann, shoots over Jackson. They grab their own miss. Mann misses. Got the ball where he wanted it, but then got swarmed. Powell passes to Jackson. Tipped! Here's Mann. Pass to Pokashevsky. And here's Wiggins. Deflects the pass. Here's Pokashevsky. Williams with it. Defended by Kennard. Here's Mann. Three-pointer, no good. The Clippers have gotten five of ten shots to go. Kennard outside. Powell for three. And again, it's the Clippers missing. 
Here's Mann, covered by Covington. Pass to Pokashevsky. Two minutes. Williams on the wing. Third quarter. Two minutes. To the middle. Holmgren. And he tamps it home with authority. Yeah, the defense making it way too easy for Holmgren. Gotta push him farther out than this. Powell passes to Covington. And it goes out of bounds. Last touch by Covington. Now I'm all for the crowd interacting with the players, but not so much the players interacting with the crowd. That one errant pass. Batum is checked in for Covington. And for the Thunder, they're shooting about 31% here in quarter number three. Grant, it's amazing how Holmgren transforms your defense when he's on the floor. Yeah, B.A., I mean, he really makes up for a lack of strength with length and tremendous timing. He has the lateral footwork to defend one through five as well. And of course, he can block shots from any spot on the floor. Now here's Powell. Now quiet so far offensively, searching for his first points of the game. There's Jackson with the three, knocks it down from distance. Now he's a confident guy and he's got a solid three-point shot, so Jackson rises and fires. Pass to Pokashevsky. Now here's Wiggins. Here's Pokashevsky. Picked by Pokashevsky. Here's Mann. Second chance shot. And Pokashevsky gets it to go. Pokashevsky's got his first bucket in this one. I mean, they've been relentless. Just keep getting shots at the rim. Powell, a screen on Williams. Powell outside. Puts up a three. Williams grabs the board. And he probably thought he was going to bury that one. 26 seconds left in the third quarter. Pass to Holmgren. Three-pointer. Doesn't go for him. The Clippers have gone 6 of 13 to open up this second half. Here's Jackson. And the rebound goes to the Thunder. Man's got his fourth rebound in this one. From deep. He got it up in time, but it would not fall for him. And so it's Kawhi Leonard making highlights for the Clippers. Totaling 26 points and showing no signs of letting up anytime soon. Back to the game after this break. And it's time now to bring you our State Farm assist to the game. <laughs> yeah, just shredding the defense with that feed. Zero chance to stop that. That's what great passing will do for you right there, dissecting the defense with that play. And we reach the fourth quarter in a game that may already be out of hand. And for Los Angeles, they're shooting 40% from the field in this one. And Oklahoma City looking at who they've got to start the fourth. Alexei Pokashevsky is out there with Darius Baisley. Then there's Lou Dort, then it's Josh Kitty, and it's Wiggins in at the two-guard spot. I've been in this position. Your team is up. You want to drive in the dagger. He may be a little overeager. So it's the Clippers now. Batum, pass to Morris. Oh, the slam dunk by Morris. Defensive effort they need to cut it to the lead. Boy, good call. You have to at least try to protect the rim. Good job to recognize the opportunity. That's just very solid offense. And that one's good. Giddy. Giddy hard to corral at his size. Outside wall. Pass to Morris. And we played through about a minute here in the fourth. Wall, the pass to George. No good on the three. And Oklahoma City shooting 34% thus far in this game. Here's Pokashevsky, guarded by Batum. Here's Pokashevsky. Down low. George with a steal. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. And the standout skill of Paul George is the fact that on both ends of the court, he's going to affect 
the outcome of the game. And George is the kind of versatile player that every team is looking for, Brent. And B.A., with all of that experience, he's able to switch on so many different guys, and he understands what it is they're trying to do. And then on the offensive end, he just scores in a myriad of ways. He's hitting threes, he's driving, he's dunking, he's making plays. PG, the complete package. Zubats, he's checked in for Los Angeles. Kawhi Leonard comes in for Batum. And also a switch here for Oklahoma City. Shea Gilgis Alexander, he's checked in for Wiggins. George hits them both. Now Paul George, really a true two-way player in the NBA, he gives you so much on both ends, so you get all-star value offensively and defensively. Now here's Gilgis Alexander. Puts it up from 12. That's good from Giddy on the assist from Gilgis Alexander. Not getting old here, seeing him make that lead pass with perfect timing. They set the pick. Leonard for three. Good. He's taken 13 shots. He's drained 10 of them. Fantastic production. Well, if he's hitting shots from there, he becomes so much more dangerous. Here's Pokashevsky. Back to Gilgis Alexander. Giddy against Wall to the inside. <laughs> And a foul call on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. It's going to be on even to Zubats. You wonder what it's going to be like when Baisley puts everything together. It's such a tough cover. Two shots. Shooting two. First free throw is good. Yeah, Baisley is, is such a tease. He's got all of these skills and such a multifaceted forward. There's a lot of versatility there. That one misses, so he goes one for two. Los Angeles has gone one for three in the fourth quarter from range. Leonard against Dort. Wall, the pass to George. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. That straight line drive there from Paul George. You'd love to see him get in that attack mode. Let's see if he can cash in now at the line. At the line for L.A., Paul George. At the line for two. That's good from George. George hits them both. Now Dort. Takes it inside. No good that time. And George with some nice D. Here's Powell. And Gilgis Alexander with a block. Nice job, SGA, coming in and using that long athletic wingspan. Back to Baisley. Pass to Gilgis Alexander. Six to shoot. Over Powell. Releases from the wing and drills it. Gilgis Alexander's got 21 points in the game. The Clippers have gone two of five from the field in this final quarter. Leonard outside. Inside. Intercepted. Here's Gilgis Alexander. 
Lays it up and banks it in. Give him 23. Maybe the halftime break was good for him, allowed him to step back, calm himself down, get himself in the right frame of mind, and now shots are falling. Now here's Leonard to the paint. Powell for three. It's not going to go for him. So Oklahoma City will take it the other way. Okay, and he has not made one shot in this one. Has to be on his mind every time he's pulling up. Pass to Gilgis Alexander. And there's a pick. And slam dunk by Gilgis Alexander. And SGA up there getting that flush to go. Los Angeles has gone only one of four from the perimeter here in this fourth quarter. Leonard passes to Zubat. Leonard outside. Shot clock at six. And the dunk by Leonard. Yeah, you could be as physical as you want with Kawhi Leonard. He just stays with it and is unshaken. Pass to Gilgis Alexander. Solid D from Leonard. For Los Angeles, they've gotten three of seven attempts in this fourth quarter to fall. Powell passes to George. Now here's Wall. Leonard finds George. He takes it in. No luck on that one. And Oklahoma City will go the other way with it. Giddy passes to Dort. No good from outside. They put together a solid lead. And it doesn't seem like they're going to back off. Pass to Leonard. And too long on the shot. For Oklahoma City, they've gotten five shots out of nine to go in this fourth. Powell against Gilgis Alexander. Ooh, solid D from Leonard. And for Los Angeles, they're shooting 33%. This hasn't been their quarter. George. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. Lou Dort picks one up. The length and the athleticism combination of Paul George is very hard to guard. Paul George, two shots. First one falls. The Clippers making a switch here. Batum's checked in. Holmgren, he's checked in for Oklahoma City. And he can't hit the second. Giddy with it. Boy, they'd love if anyone could get a bucket. Yeah, their offense has been grinding to a halt. Gilgis Alexander with a ball. Checked by Wall. Yep, that one goes. SGA with some good movement, creating an easy opportunity for a teammate. Los Angeles has gone only one of four from the perimeter here in this fourth quarter. Cross is over. Shot by Leonard, no good. Oklahoma City has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the fourth quarter. Giddy passes to Gilgis Alexander. Here's Holmgren. And that comes off the assist by Gilgis Alexander. Gilgis Alexander's got three assists in the game. Los Angeles shooting just 38% for this game so far. Ball finds Leonard. To the middle. Here's Zubats. Banked it in off the glass. And the Clippers lead by 12. Well, this is the next step in evolution for Kawhi, showing great signs of improved playmaking. Door outside. Fires for three. Batum pulls it in. Batum's got his fourth rebound in this one. Pass to Leonard. Let's go with a three. Offensive rebound. 
A nice shot by Zubac. And there he is. I mean, attacking the boards, converting off the misses. I mean, trying to do everything he can to secure this W. I just don't see how you climb back into the game and you're allowing plays like that to happen. Extra work on the offensive glass. Well, here's the problem. He's shooting the lights out, but they're still behind. They need another guy to step up. Leonard against Dort. Leonard outside. Inside. Here's Zubox. And it's slammed in by Zubox. The throws it down emphatically. He's got serious hop, right? You add that to his ability to penetrate, that's two easy points. Now a timeout call by Oklahoma City. They trail by 14. And there's 138 left to play in the fourth quarter of this one. There's 138 left in the fourth quarter of this one. From deep three-point range, rebound by the Clippers. 17 points was their biggest margin. Grant, you look at the playoffs last year. I mean, a lot of big-name stars struggled to deliver. Is that every year, or you think that was an anomaly? I, you know, B.A., I think it was a bit of an anomaly. I mean, I, I, I think you think what's happened in the league in the last few years with the bubble and then the restart last season. There's been a lot of basketball played, and I think it's impacted a lot of players. So I think moving forward, we'll get back to a level of normalcy with the rest and recovery of the offseason, and big-name stars will continue to excel and thrive That's in the years to come. He foul. gets really smooth Second sometimes, Gilgis Alexander has some size and he challenged the defense with it that time. Shooting two. Shooting two. And the first one at the line is good. And so he makes both from the line. I think a bucket here, Grant, would end this game. Absolutely. That would put a bow on this one. Well, with a comeback out of range, we could put a bow on this one. Good performance for the Clippers. Hey, if you get yourself to the line and cash in on those opportunities, you paint your opponent into a corner. Yeah, they were so successful with that all night. Aggressive, fearless, whatever you want to call it, they really pushed the action and got rewarded. And with another win in the bag, they've racked up 46 total on the year. 
And with this victory, they conclude this season series, having won three out of four games these two teams played. And what a huge performance it was for Kawhi Leonard. Just does a great job of looking for space and then finding it. That's taking advantage of what the defense is giving you. The Clippers winning this one easily. A clean win, and one where they clearly showed better energy. You're so true. They put on a show here at home. And I really think they had that extra swagger and confidence, too. And now we have Allie LaForce standing with the player of the game. Allie, take it away. Well, Paul, this team seems to be rounding into shape. What is your sense of the chemistry right now? Really good, really good, real beneficial. It's great that we was able to pick this one up. That's what it's about. We don't care if it's a blowout or if it's a close one. We need to learn how to do both. So uh, it's great. We were able to pick this up. Good quality team win. Good luck on continuing to build that chemistry. Allie, thank you as always. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Brent Berry, Allie LaForce, and Grant Hill, this is Brian Anderson thanking you for tuning in. And as we leave, we give you our New Balance player of the game, Kawhi Leonard.